Hey guys, how's it going? It's 8-Bit Eric. We got some uh, PlayStation news. Now, we all know this past week things got chaotic. The pre-orders, we had the showcase on Wednesday. And then literally after the showcase, just to recap, Jeff Keighley came out and said, Hey guys, on the 17th, which was the next day, Thursday, pre-orders for the PlayStation 5 would be going live with select retailers. So everybody prepped to get ready for the next day but then all of a sudden Sony came out confirmed it and then pre-orders went early on Wednesday so people were completely caught off guard now let's talk about that situation people said it was so that they could combat scalpers that it didn't give scalpers a chance to set up shop with their bots and to basically Get everything ready to get the ps5s um, but it also left a lot of people scrambling it left websites basically crashing and being broken gamestop was blocking people lots of frustration on people's ends um they the demand for this playstation 5 is utterly ridiculous it's it's abnormally high uh i've never seen anything like this i think this is a lot crazier than any other playstation system or any console for the most part ever um nintendo microsoft sony anything like that i think there's been nothing like this but um the the whole way that sony handled the pre-order has been met with a little bit of criticism um uh, mixed reaction some people are full support of how it was handled again a lot of people said sony did good by just dropping it like that to fight scalpers me personally i've been pretty vocal about it on the channel the last couple days uh, saying that it was a mess, that they didn't handle it really well, uh, and that Xbox coming out and putting a date and a time and how to get it and showing like somewhat organization, in my opinion, was a better way of handling it. I felt that it put Sony's thing to shame, that Sony really dropped the ball on this PlayStation 5 pre-order launch. And um, evidently, PlayStation heard the criticism and decided to address this on Twitter. They just tweeted this out as we're watching this. Let's be honest, PS5 pre-orders could have been a lot smoother. I mean, <laughs> is that an understatement, guys? Seeing how the internet reacted. I mean, my live stream was crazy with people trying to get PS5 pre-orders that whole night. We truly apologize for that. So they did come out, they apologized, they said could have been handled a lot smoother. And now they're confirming over the next few days we will release more PS5 consoles for pre-order. Retailers will share more details. So this goes in hand with the uh, recent rumor that I heard that uh, September 22nd and apparently um, it's going to be like a restock day for the pre-sales. Coincidentally, that's the same day as Microsoft doing their pre-sale for the Xbox Series X. But I'm thinking this is um, hinting towards the retailers like Walmart and Best Buy and GameStop planning on doing some pre-orders. I know that it's just been recently confirmed that Walmart will be doing in-store pre-orders on September 22nd. In-store only though. So I think this might be it. Hopefully some retailers don't jump the gun again. I know some people are still saying it was the retailer's fault for everything that happened on Wednesday. Uh, yeah, well, you're not wrong. I do think that the situation could have been handled a lot better on Sony's behalf. Ultimately, it is Sony's problem with that. And then it says more PS5s will be available through the end of the year. So you can see there is a pretty big reaction here. You got Sonic T. Hedgehog, who I know, he's a good guy. Thanks for speaking out about this. I can respect that. Hope all hope all my friends who do want one get one by year's end. We can see RGT saying big if true. Um, Dreamcast guy, you love to see it. Jeff Grubb. So there's a pretty big reaction on this. I mean the the pre-order situation was just utterly chaotic again. Like I said, it was a mess. Uh, people were scrambling to try to get one. I was refreshing my browsers all day. I managed to get one at 11 p.m. because one of my stream um, viewers hooked me up with a link, told me, hey, Amazon's going to go live about 11 p.m. And sure enough, he was right, <laughs> and I got it so quickly. Uh, so I thank them for that. 
But yeah, coming out with this, acknowledging that the pre-order was kind of a mess, that's a good little uh, sign of feedback for a company. I can appreciate that. Um, and they are confirming over the next few days they'll release more PS5 consoles. Everybody wants to get it on launch day. I know Amazon delaying it kind of, uh, I made a video about it. It came across as me whining, but it wasn't so much of a whining, more of a frustration of the pre-order situation, the way that it was just a mess. It just seemed like retailers just opened up pre-orders, didn't take inventory or stock into consideration because they just wanted to get the cold hard cash. And then they are sending emails saying, hey, you due to high demand, you might not even get your game, your, your game console on, on time. So... Now it seems like Sony's going to try to do some precautions for the next round of pre-orders, which I'm saying is going to be probably the 22nd, because that's what I read already, because Walmart's going to be doing the in-store um, orders. I don't know if every other retailer is going to be doing in-store pre-orders or not, considering the pandemic situation right now. It's surprising that Walmart's going to be doing that way. If they're the only retailer doing it on the 22nd, that's going to be a chaotic mess. I think Sony's also going to be doing their online pre-orders through their PlayStation Network offer that same date. Um, and again, they're saying more will be available through the rest of the year. I think that's coinciding with their statement that Jim Ryan said that they're going to try to make sure more units are available than the PS4 launch that happened in 2013, which that alone was crazy. But this, this, I think they already sold a lot of units. <laughs> like, no telling. I think they might have, the initial pre-order inventory might be sold out uh, from the looks of it. And, uh, man, it just seems that every console generation when a launch happens, especially in this social media age and this internet age, it just just chaotic mess i mean looking at this this is probably the most in demand that a console has ever been wanted and i'm interested to see how this is going to affect the xbox series x pre-orders on uh september 22nd as well because they're doing pre-orders that date so people are saying since microsoft gave a heads up to the pre-orders that's going to cause scalpers to definitely take advantage of it we'll see what happens um Sounds like Sony is working on a game plan to make sure everybody gets a console, which is good. So I got to commend them for coming out and admitting that the pre-orders for their console was a complete mess. That takes a lot of uh, character. So good on you, PlayStation. Good on you, Sony. I appreciate it. <laughs> and I'm sure you guys watching too. Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on the situation with the pre-orders. Sony's statement. Um, if you haven't even got one yet or if you've gotten one, let me know an update on it. Have you gotten canceled? Have you gotten a delay? Subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.